Well, hello, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know a lot of us are missing a pinky nail mama. So let me show you how I do my very own press on toes. Now, these toes are waterproof and these will last you for absolutely ever. So if you want to learn how to make your own uh, indestructible press on toes, stick around, friend. Okay, so earlier when I first started my channel, I already did a press on nail tutorial. However, I used nail glue to adhere my press on nails and I also used these small uh, toe tips that I got from Amazon. However, this time I do things a little bit more differently. I no longer use nail glue and I don't use these toe tips. Now, I actually use base coat to adhere my nails and instead of using the regular little toe tips, I use the full cover press on nails nails from mccart now these do run a little small so if you have a slightly larger toe nail bed you might have to use the other toe tips because the toe tips do run large <laughs> how many times am i gonna say toe tips in this video <laughs> well, anyways welcome to my toes they're hella long my husband calls them finger toes because they're almost as long as my pinky and i use them to clean up all around the house i don't know i think it's a brown people thing and i also tried to shave my toes friend because they were hella hairy but you can still kind of see the hairs oh well I don't care <laughs> and let's get started so before i prep my nails i like to push back my cuticles with the cuticle pusher and i trim off the excess cuticle skin with cuticle clippers and i did that off camera and now i am going to take my nail file this is a 180 nail file i got this from amazon and i'm just going to gently buff the top of my natural nail like so and once I'm done buffing it, this is what it should look like. I didn't do it really rough, friend. I did it very lightly and gently because I do not want to ruin my nail bed. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of my toes. And once I am done buffing them, I'm going to clean them off with some isopropyl alcohol. And now I am ready to apply some base coat. This is my base coat. I'm going to be using the McCart one. And once I am done applying my base coat, I'm going to grab my lamp and I'm going to set my toes in my UV lamp for 60 seconds. And once they are ready, I am ready to apply my press on toes. So I like to use this hands-free UV lamp to apply my press on toes. It's really helpful and it works a lot better when it's on the floor. But since I had to film, I had to take my whole ass foot and put it on the table. <laughs> So give me a thumbs up, friends. I really struggled for this video. <laughs> so before I applied my press on nail, I went ahead and I grabbed a napkin with some isopropyl alcohol on it. And I cleaned the back of it to get rid of some of the shine. And now I'm going to grab some of my face coat. I'm going to apply some of it onto the press on nail and onto my natural nail. And now I'm going to fuse them together like so. Bloop. And you want to make sure that there's no air bubbles in your gel, okay? Or in your base coat. And now I'm going to set it in my UV lamp for at least 60 seconds or until I could let go. Okay, and now that I've done my big toe, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how I do my other toe. However, this time I'm going to be a little bit more close up so you guys can see how I apply the tip. And voila, that is how I apply my tips. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of my toes off camera. And here we go. Look how long my toes look. Imagine if I went out in public like this. Oh heck no, they're just so freaking long. I look like a little crocodile. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip them down. For some reason, I kept them kind of long, but I ended up clipping them down shorter <laughs> later on. I don't know why I kept them long. <laughs> I guess I just get really, really scared that I'll clip them down way too short and um, I won't be able to remove them because I applied them with base coat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to clip the rest of my press on nails down. And um, once I'm done uh, clipping them down, I'm going to take a nail file and I'm just going to file them down to a perfect little square shape like this. 
And unfortunately, I couldn't really film myself uh, filing my toes because the table, like, it wouldn't let me show you guys. Because this is how I file them. Here, let me show you. I take my nail file and I file it straight down like this. The press-on nails are already really tapered, so I don't really have to do much shaping. And so I'm showing you guys how I file my press-on toes on this press-on nail so that you guys could see. I just file it straight across like that, and it comes out really, really square. <laughs> I hope that helps you guys out. My bad. I'm sorry I didn't catch it on camera. It's just so hard. The table's in the way, friend. And once I'm done filing my toes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a buffer. Um, and I'm just going to buff the tops of my nails so that I could add some texture because as you guys can see, they are really, really shiny. So I'm going to take my little buffer and I'm going to buff, buff, buff all my toes. And once I'm done buffing my toes, I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to clean them off once again. And this is what my toes are looking like so far. And now I am ready to paint them. And I'm going to go in with my favorite nude. It's called First Kiss by Orly, and I'll be linking it down in the description box below. I'm going to be doing two coats of this color on my toes. And in between each coat, I'm going to be sticking it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And once I'm done adding my two layers of First Kiss, I'm going to top everything off with a nice juicy layer of clear gel nail polish. The clear gel nail polish is by McCart. And now we are ready for my favorite part, friend, which is the bling. I will be linking where I got my bling from down in the description box below. And now I'm going to grab my crystal pickup pen and I'm going to grab my favorite um, crystal glue which is this squeeze glue by mccart i definitely recommend it friend and with my crystal pickup pen i'm going to dip into my glue and i'm going to apply my glue in the area where i want to apply my gems which is just on the tip of my toenail and then i'm going to start pressing in my bling into the glue like so and i'm going to try to make them as straight as i can Okay, and this is what my toe is looking like so far, and I have a little bit of glue underneath my gem, so I'm going to take this small little like artist brush, I'm going to dip it into some isopropyl alcohol, and I'm going to clean the bottom part a little bit to get rid of the excess glue, and now I'm going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And uh, once I take it out, I'm going to do the rest of my toes off camera. Bam, friend! Don't they look hella cute? And in order to secure my gems, I like to use a crystal gel pen like this with a little precision brush. And I like to brush the crystal gel glue underneath the gems like so to secure them and to prevent them from popping off. Especially if you wear a lot of closed-toed shoes, this helps uh, secure your gems. I brush on a little bit underneath and then I go ahead and I paint the rest of my toenail, kind of like a clear gel nail polish. This hardens up the nails as well and it prevents them from breaking. So if you're really rough with your toes adding a layer of clear crystal gel over your toes will definitely help them last longer and after i'm done applying the crystal glue on my toes i'm going to pop it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds however i don't really recommend this like this brush on glue it took forever to set it took like 120 seconds to set I had to pop it in there a few times friend but this is what it looked like afterwards so freaking pretty i love them but i still recommend the jenny secret crystal glue pen that one works mwah, like wonders it's a little pricey but you won't be sticking your foot in the uv lamp as much <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think friend do you like these toes are these toes hot girl summer ready Ew! i really really love the blink tips they're so shiny and please let me know if you guys try out this method it's called the Apre Dupe method and it's really, really popular right now. And I could see why because my toes last absolutely forever with this method. So this method is hot girl summer approved because it lasts 
all week long for two whole weeks three weeks even even after going to the pool so friend what are you waiting for go do your toes go get a pinky nail i love you i love you i love you and i will see you next week my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend and please let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see next Mwah! bye <laughs> Who the hell brings socks to the pool, sir? Hey. <laughs> no judging.